just a woman who perhaps unknowingly is still putting the patriarchal narrative out into the world, is still benefiting off, profiting off and selling a patriarchal narrative to other women. But it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. You know, just because you look like a woman, we trust you and we think you're on our side. But you are selling us something that is that really doesn't make us feel good. had a little more light-skinned people. Is that racist? racist. When I heard that comment, I I did have to pause, but then I had to dig deeper and know who I was as an African-American woman and say, I don't give a what she wants to see on the panel. I'm here, as brown as I am, as black and as beautiful as I am, and if I rip this hair off, yes, I do have naps, and it's okay. So, Lord, a lot of people don't identify you as black. So you have a black woman who said, I was offended by it being a black woman of darker skin. So do you think you offended black women? No, not at all. I'm black. But then why the f- bring it up? But again, if you are black, keep joking why around, bring that up? Joking around. Ask why, her. Ask why, her. Why make tone such a subject to say, if you are black and you're standing in it, stand in it in all shades? I think by trying to have a discussion about light skin privilege, which begins with categorizing people into either light skinned or not light skinned categories, we're kind of almost enforcing divisions among skin tone by, you know, testing and separating people based on skin tone. She just got my hair and complexion. Thank God. Thank God. Everything else, you know, he could have. Mixed race white passing women are not our allies by our i mean brown and dark skin black women now they might they might love up on some light skin black women okay they might see y'all as direct competition but they are not our deep melanated women allies of course i'm not talking about all of you guys but majority, baby, child. They're usually only acceptance of their black side when it is convenient to them, when it's time to be cool, when it's time to have swag, when it's time to be knowledgeable and popping. Oh, I'm black, I'm black, I'm black. But when we start talking about black issues, when we start talking about colorism, when we start talking about hatred and slavery and oppression, I don't see that same energy. In fact, a lot of times, y'all on the other team making fun of us, bringing us down, saying you're glad that the baby came out with your hair and your complexion. So do you think you offended black women? No, not at all. I'm black. But then why the f- bring it up? But get- if you were black and proud to be black and proud of other beautiful black women, why would you say you wish there were more light-skinned people? You know why? Because you know for a fact that you're not black. You aren't comfortable around confident, popping black women because it makes you feel insecure. Honestly, y'all, I'm tired of these mediocre. <laughs> y'all remember T.I. song? I don't want no mediocre. I don't want no mediocre. No, bad bitches only. Ain't no mediocre. I'm head to the toes. I don't want them. I'm tired of these mediocre, basic, basic mixed race white passing women talking shit on the internet hyping up mixed babies and playing dark skinned babies hyping up light skinned women and playing dark skinned women i'm tired of y'all cuz half the time y'all mediocre now i know these men going to prop y'all up and tell y'all oh you pretty or you pretty you're not you're not The test results came back, baby. And you're not. All it takes is for one of these women to get knocked up by a black man. And you will see it crawl through their veins. The colorism will crawl through their veins. I hope my baby not black like him. I hope my baby don't look like his side of the family. Well, why did you sleep with him unprotected, sis? 
because that's half of his genes. That's half of his DNA. If you don't love all that comes with him and his DNA, you need not to lay down with him and let him nut in you unprotected. Okay? Then you got white women and black men like him cheersing to light-skinned babies, to white-passing babies. Yes, keep passing down those good genes. Keep passing down those white good genes, that good hair, that good skin, them good minimal features, the no lips, okay? Keep passing that on down because that's the good gene know how crazy that sounds like that really sounds crazy coming out of my mouth because I don't think like that I don't speak like that so when other people think and speak like this or belittle this I can't fathom like you can't sit with me sis and beware because they come in even women who aren't even mixed with black child you got this chick sitting up on her YouTube I don't know who she is nor do I give a damn Sitting on her YouTube channel belittling and undermining what dark-skinned women feel, what dark-skinned women experience every single day. We're kind of almost enforcing divisions among skin tone by, you know, testing and separating people based on skin tone. And the third- Oh, ye bull gal. What do you know about being black? See, I really don't like people like her because what she's doing is not only gaslighting, but she's also putting the blame back on us. And if you remember that video that I put in the beginning, that's a very patriarchal, uh, a very patriarchal stance where, you know, these men, they're always saying, well, maybe if black women did this, then, you know, you would be seen as more attractive. Well, maybe if you didn't wear weave, you know, you would be in more music videos. Well, maybe if this and maybe if you and maybe you, you, you. Y'all continuously gaslighting, one, making it seem like there's no real problem. And two, if there is a problem, it's because we're creating the problem. Why is it that when we share our experiences, when we tell y'all what we go through, and not only that, we provide real life examples, there is still people talking about, well, maybe it's all in your head or Maybe you're creating the problem. How am I creating the problem if I'm the one being affected by the problem? But it kind of seems to me like she's saying that in the era of slavery in the United States, it was better to be a multiracial black person than just a straight up black person. And I, I, I disagree with that. Listen, child. Okay, listen. Thank you, lucky stars. I am saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Go, so I, I would drag you across these YouTube streets. See, I do what I like to call a polite drag. So let me politely drag your ass back to the little suburban neighborhood you from. I don't know why you're disagreeing with facts. Who told you that you could disagree with the facts of history? Yes, it was hard being multiracial during that time because guess what? Part of your multi race was black. So imagine being fully black. They didn't hate the white part of you. They hated the black part of you. So imagine someone who had only black in you. The hate will be a thousand times worse. I do have a video coming up on light skinned slaves and dark skinned slaves because there's a lot of misconceptions with that. But please believe that if you were mixed with white, in many cases, you were spared. And then if you were lighter than a paper bag, oh, honey, you good. You good, good. You got that good skin. But back to what I was saying about mixed race, white passing women are not our allies. For the most part, they will always let you know that there is a separation between them and your black ass. I had little ponytails in my hair and like, you know, how they uh, put ponytails in with the hair balls and braid it and wear these little cute dresses and sandals and stuff. So, not to be funny, but it seemed like always little black nappy headed, I'm sorry y'all, but it seemed like always little nappy headed girls would bully me. Like they'd be jealous or something. Like, what? I, what? Yes they was when I was little. What? I, what? Yes they was when I was little. <laughs> nah, I'm weak. <laughs> But it's sad because even black men will put up with a mediocre, mediocre looking, mediocre dressing female. But hey, she's mixed race. Hey, she's light skinned. It seems like always ugly people bully me. I'm sorry. So such things ugly people? Well, it don't have nothing to do with, look, y'all, before y'all start going in, it don't have nothing to do with color. But them are always the people that bully me. It was always some little black little girls bullying me with some old little... 
terrible hairstyles. But anyway. I'm not denying that a lot of dark skin girls picked and teased on her when she was younger. But we have to take everything into consideration. Girl, you lived amongst black people. You lived amongst black people. You didn't live amongst white people. You lived amongst black people. And those were the people that were available to bully you. Listen, I think I made my point very clear here. Not saying that, you know, a mixed race, white passing woman cannot be an ally or cannot be a good friend to you. But they are very few and far in between. And if you do have one, hold on tight because she is the last of a dying breed, child. And to all my black women, brown skin, light skin, and dark skin, if you want to know if your mixed race, white passing friend is truly an ally, she'll do things like this. When you're speaking out and standing up for matters that concern you and your community, she'll be there to have your back. She'll be there to use herself as a shield because she knows that her privilege will stop any hurt, harm, or danger that can come your way. She'll be there to have your back. She'll be there to promote you. She'll be there to uplift you. She'll be there to cuss anybody out if they even think about using any racist or colorist slurs to compliment her and to put you down. She'll be there to compliment your children. She'll be there to encourage their blackness and your blackness. That's an ally.